Hey there guys, how's it going? Tyler here with Your Movie Fix, and today we're going to be talking about the future of DC movies, and specifically Superman, his franchise, what they're going to do with the character. Now, I, I want to say that this video is going to contain some spoilers for Dawn of Justice, so if you haven't seen that movie, you probably shouldn't watch this video, and if you don't care, then keep on watching. Now before we get going, I do want to say that I do really enjoy Zack Snyder as a director. I really love Man of Steel, that's one of my favorite movies. And I am personally a very, very big fan of Henry Cavill as Superman. And I even really, really enjoyed Dawn of Justice, despite my own problems with it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the ultimate cut of that movie. So I am a big fan of all of those things. I'm a big fan of what Zack Snyder has done with Superman. But I do want to talk about what we should do with him now. I've always felt that Man of Steel was more of a movie about Kal-El. Um, although, it, yes, it has Clark Kent and Superman is technically in it. I've always felt that there was a movie more about Clark Kent discovering that side of his heritage, about finding out his, you know, his, his alien lineage, um, and trying to become Superman. Although, I mean, he just put on the suit, and in the same day, you got these aliens coming down saying, if you don't surrender, we're going to destroy the planet, basically. Um, so he was not Superman in that movie. He was Kal-El in a Kryptonian suit fighting some other aliens. And uh, in Batman v Superman, we really get... Clark, who has tried to accept the responsibility of being Superman, he's doing all these acts around the world. The government, Lex Luthor, Batman, the media, all these people are just, they're very indifferent about him or they really dislike him. Um, and I, I like that we're going with this more realistic approach to what the hell would happen if this alien came to Earth, if this Kryptonian was here and this event, this catastrophe happened in a big city metropolis. Um, people would love him, people would hate him, people would worship him. Um, they would, you know, try to cause all these problems. There's, there would be a lot of controversy uh, around this man if he actually came to Earth. With the majority still, you know, enjoying his presence, they accept that he is, that he saved them. But really, it was a movie about Clark struggling to become Superman. And I want to talk about his death. The death of Superman. And that actually really, really worked for me. It worked for a lot of people that I know. And I think there are a lot of diehard Superman fans who it didn't work for because they love the story, the death of Superman, so much. And as much as I love it, I'm going to say I didn't, I, I don't want to see a direct adaptation of that story. I wouldn't have wanted to see a solo Superman and Doomsday movie. I don't want to see that. I just don't. Uh, Doomsday is not a character. He is a plot device. He's a hulking monster who does not speak. He was created solely to kill Superman. And what did he do? He killed him. They even got his origins, you know, fine. He was a Kryptonian deformity. He was this beast that was created. At least his origins were still tied to Krypton and he was this big monster that evolved. That's all fine. I don't care if Lex created it. It was still from the Kryptonian databases, blah, blah, blah. I was fine with Doomsday. I was fine with Superman being killed. And I think that's going to be a very important thing with him moving forward. And as he says to Lois, this is my world. I think that that was a great character growth moment for Superman kind of realizing a couple things. That, yes, this is my world and I'm going to be the guardian. I'm going to be the one to protect it. That was him accepting the responsibility that of being Superman, that if I'm going to be Superman, there are going to be people out there like Lex Luthor, like Zod, like this creature. Problems are going to come because I'm here, but I'm here to stay. Um, and I will protect this planet. I will protect the people. So I'm going to make the tough decisions. I'm going to do this and I'm going to sacrifice myself. I am going to destroy Doomsday. I'm going to kill him, even if that means that I have to die in the process. And I love that moment. I love that. And I hope that they continue on with it in the future of Justice League and his other standalone movies. What I don't want to see is an evil Superman come back for any reason. You know, he's got this weird vendetta against the world or even struggling with the fact that maybe I shouldn't be Superman. I don't want to see any more struggle. We got the movie full of struggle. We got two movies of Kal-El and Clark Kent's struggle of accepting being Superman. And I felt like we actually got him accepting that at the end of Dawn of Justice. So I don't want to see some sad Superman come back to life. I want to see a Superman come back and appreciate life, appreciate Earth and its people and accept being Superman. And I, I want to see more montages. You know, that stuff was great in Dawn of Justice with him going around the world and doing things. And even, you know, the fire rescue where we see him uh, down there in like Mexico. He wasn't, he didn't really look like he was sure how he should feel when, with all those people reaching out to him. Now, obviously he doesn't want to be worshipped as a god, but he wants people to appreciate what he's doing. Um, and I want to see people appreciating Superman in the next movie, appreciating that sacrifice. The world should have a totally different view on Superman after they saw him, you know, get hit by a nuke, all this good stuff. You know, sacrificing himself to Doomsday. The world should feel different and Superman should feel different. And I want to see the happy hero. Uh, I don't want Christopher Reeve's Superman or anything like that. 
I just want to see Henry Cavill do his own take on a new optimistic Superman who's appreciating being Superman. That's all I want to see. And Zack Snyder has to, you know, tread very carefully with how he's going to handle him in Justice League. And I think for, you know, the better of this character, for this franchise, we need to see that version of Superman. Um, and we've been told that, you know, Justice League will be more of a crowd-pleasing movie. It'll be lighter in tone. So that's all, you know, that's all good news to me. Um, I didn't mind the dark tone. I'm just... I think we're done with it. I think we can be done with seeing the struggle of these characters and we need to see them grow um, into what we know. And as far as Justice League goes, I think there's enough where you can do uh, something in the first movie that doesn't have to be Dark Side, although we got hints to it in Dawn of Justice. I think you can do something like Throne of Atlantis to introduce the characters with sprinkle in some bits with Lex Luthor, the Kryptonian ship, something to do with Darkseid, the hints to Justice League Part 2. But again, that's the version of Superman I want to see. And what should we do with his standalone movies? Now, I think what would be the perfect villain to bring in for the next movies would be Brainiac. I really, really want to see Brainiac in a movie. I would love to see Jeff John's run of Brainiac and Superman adapted. I would love to see that story adapted to the big screen. Uh, almost a direct adaptation with that would be perfect, uh, in my opinion. So that's something I'd, I'm really dying to see here. Um, just casting Brainiac, I really would have loved uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, but Marvel's already got him for Doctor Strange. I think he would have been great. I also think someone like Luke Evans would be really good. Um, but there's so many actors, you can cherry pick anybody that can play a great role. As, as long as they get a talented actor, that would be great. You know, we can have this character, we can have this villain, who's so the opposite of Superman. He's the total antithesis, who who has no regard for life. He does not care. He's there to collect. He's there to destroy. Someone who has no appreciation for life. And we can have this newer version of Superman who has come back to life, who appreciates everything, who appreciates life and humanity and Earth, and he's there to protect it. I think it would be a very, very good uh, contrast between the two characters. And I think Brainiac is a fantastic villain. You can do fantastic things with him um, and his story. So that's something I want to be seeing adapted in the future. And as well as what could we do with Darkseid? If we have him in Justice League Part 2, awesome. I don't want him to be killed in Justice League Part 2. I want them to find a way to stop him in some kind of other way. And I would love to see in the final Superman movie, let's say they're going to do a trilogy, we don't know. Um, but I'd like to see them go back to Darkseid with just Superman in a standalone movie, him go to Apocalypse, something like that would be really great. Um, but continue to have, you know, the Superman that we know, the Superman that's similar to the animated series. I like that era. And I will say that I love the character Superman, but I think he's a very difficult character to write and he's very difficult to write in movies. I like the, the parameters and the limitations that Zack Snyder has given this Superman because you have to, you have to give this character limits or the, it gets so hard to tell a story about a man who can literally do everything. Although they didn't seem to nerf his strength, they have nerfed his super senses, um, like his hearing and his vision, and uh, as well as his invulnerability, like we saw a nuke weaken him. So I like that they did give the character limits, uh, and that's something that they should continue to have. Uh, or, you know, he's, he'll get stronger over time, whatever. But that's just the version of Superman that I want to see. I want to know, how do you guys feel about this? What kind of Superman do you want to see? Do you want to see this Superman come back to life who's appreciating, you know, being Superman, who's appreciating Earth and accepting the role of being, you know, this guardian of the planet? And although Zack Snyder has kind of played a different way of characterizing him as like this, this silent kind of misunderstood man-god, I think that he is done being misunderstood and that we got that growth in, at the end of Dawn of Justice. So that's just how I feel. Comment down below, guys. What do you want to see with the future of the Superman movies? With the future of Superman and the DC movies? I think this is a, a very big topic for discussion. Um, you know, this is a very beloved character. I have a lot of strong feelings, uh, you know, about him and what they're going to be doing with him. And the future of the movies. And I really would like to see another director take a shot at Superman. Someone like George Miller, Matthew Vaughn. Someone like that. I don't... As much as I love Zack Snyder, he's going to be busy for the next four or five years anyway, doing Justice League and whatever else producing. So I don't think he's going to be doing the next standalone Superman movie. And I think that's fine. As much as I love Man of Steel, I want to see... I think we need to have another director take a shot at this character um, for the sake of growth. Uh, anyways, guys, comment down below. Who would you like to see direct it? What do you think of all of this good stuff? So anyways, guys, this has been your Movie Fix. Be sure to subscribe for more movie news, movie reviews, trailer breakdowns, all that good stuff. Editorials just like this. I'll see you on the next video.